Hello, and welcome to MechWarrior Online. What can I say? This is easily my favorite Inner Sphere Assault Mech. I've had so many great matches with this guy, and this is one of the ones I'm good at. Not like the Zeus and the Stalker and the Mauler and the Banshee. I'm actually pretty good with the Mauler, but I only use the Mauler specifically for event of matches where it's like one-on-one -on -one or four-on-four -four situations. That guy really excels. <clears throat> but in regular match play, for whatever reason, I'm terrible. But in this guy, this guy never lets me down. This is the Cyclops CP11A. And this is the special variant. And um, I'm always very satisfied with this mech. Let's talk about it. Well, first of all, Beautiful paint job. I'm Irish. I couldn't help it. I love everything about this mech, especially the way it's designed. Doesn't have the symmetry that I usually go for in mechs, but I really like this other otherwise. So I went with a standard engine with a single double heat sink on board. And then I've got three AC5s. Why? Because I hate... UX. UX are not jam chance, they're jam guaranteed. They will always end up jamming at some point or another. And it'll be when you really need them the most. ACs never jam. They just fire. Boom, 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 boom. They don't give up. And so what I've got on this guy here is I've got this guy set up and I cycle these. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now if I want to, I can change it up so I can just be firing um, all three of these at the same time. It's easy to change up. And then I'm doing 15 damage every time I hit. And because they're so close together, I'm going to hit a lot. I've tried a several different variations of this mech. I've done it with uh, um, three uh, Rack 2s. I've done uh, one Rack 2 and one Rack 5. The Rack 5 always ends up being on top, no matter what I tried. And I've tried this uh, going like with LBXs and stuff. This just works. I even did a heavy uh, Gauss at one time or another. It just wasn't for me, but this always seems to work. Sometimes I have the lasers, sometimes I don't. Um, but over the years, this is the build I typically go with. Then on the side here, I go with two MRM 10s. I go with laser AMS case for the extra uh, uh, AC5 uh, ammo. Seems kind of a waste, but it's what it is. Um, as far as uh, features goes, this has the furofibrous armor, which is a must. Absolutely have to have it. Double heat sinks, standard structure, because if I put the upgraded structure on here, it wouldn't work. Now, some people say, change this out and go with the light furbrous. No, not the light because it doesn't give you near as much protection. We're talking about 6% protection versus 12% protection. More protection is better. Armor, more armor. Uh, for the rears, I'm going with three on each side and then five for the center torso. This thing is so tall that it does get shot quite a bit in the back, but I've got really good uh, uh, mech awareness, so I don't typically get killed from uh, tail shots unless it's the end of a match. And I'm being attacked by multiple mechs. But as far as ammo goes for the MRMs, just uh, one ton, which is more than enough. It's going to take me forever to go through those. And then I also keep a rocket pod on board because that's a great first alpha shot. You fire these with that, and uh, this is going to do 30 damage on top of the 20 that these are doing. So that's a great first uh, strike weapon. I'm running five tons of ammo for the uh, AC5s which once again, they don't jam. Um, running two cool shots in a UAV. So here we go with the streak. Firepower, 67. Speed, 53.9. Not a lot, but it's something. Heat management is 1.18. Now, when I don't fire these at all, uh, the heat management is like 1.36. So it's really good. skills 
Chastity C build bonus plus 30. Cooldown plus 15. Range plus 10. Heat minus 10. Base structure and armor, which is actually pretty good. Uh, crit hit chance receiving minus 30%, which is always nice. And sensor range plus 150. Yeah, that's something. Let's take a look at the skills. So I'm not too worried about heat because I, I know what the heat is when I don't fire the lasers. So I did I went with uh, cooldown so I can fire my, my uh, MRMs and AC5s more often. Full range. Velocity. Because you really need it with, with uh, ballistics and missiles. Uh, PPCs, velocity would be useful, but otherwise not so much. So I went with magazine capacity. I don't have to do with EL UX, which is wonderful. Full missile features. Fully skilled out on survivability as far as uh, reinforced casing, armor hardening, skeletal density, AMS. I also went with uh, one in the overheat section just in case. And uh, kinetic at a little bit extra speed. Always helps. Not once, no, once again, I'm not too worried about heat. Uh... Seismic sensor, uh, radar deprivation, absolutely. Uh, advanced zoom, because sometimes I just like to uh, point and shoot. And then, of course, my two consumables w of uh, cool shots and a UAV. Weapon grouping. Once again, I fire these all together. Boom, 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 boom. Or fire them, boom, boom. And then I've got my uh, X-Pulse lasers and my MRMs with my rocket pod as backup weapons. And of course, I've got laser AMS on board because I don't like carrying ammo if I don't need to. Yeah, so that's a quick review of this guy here. And um, I'm a really big fan of this mech. Slipnir is also a lot of fun, but I've really had some really amazing matches in this guy. And this is easily my favorite uh, Intersphere Assault mech. I would put this against a Dire Wolf any day of the week. And I have and dire wolves have been laying at my feet this thing just works <laughs>